I need them for that coat. And then you've got these. By the way, it's a It's my son's birthday again. Now, last year I did the rainbow minion cake. This year, he's decided he wants something a little bit easy. Uh, I'm not sure about that. But he's mad into Minecraft and he wants a creeper. So creeper is this kind of green creature and it's all mosaic, so it's all squares. So let's get cracking and I'll show you how I can make it. Right, this is my first cake. This is what it's gonna be the feet. Now this was from a 20 centimeter or eight inch cake tin. So once these are out, these are all going to be around about three and a half inches or nine centimeters squares in here. So I just need to cut these to size first, trim off the tops and the bottom so I've got a beautiful flat surface. You can use um, a ruler. You can use a ruler, but make sure it's a really, really clean ruler and hasn't got any children's paint or anything all over it. Or you can use these, which are fab. These are icing or marzipan spacers and all I do was roll it out put two of them together don't press too hard because if you press really hard you'll get stripes on your sugar paste so pop those side by side and just rest it and either use a sharp knife or this is fab this is used for cutting dough and then just go along and do one side put them down the other, and then you're gonna have completely square little bits of sugar paste. So if you're watching this in the States, this icing is called rolled fondant. In the UK, we call it sugar paste, but it's rolled fondant. And that really should put to one side and leave overnight to dry before you put your cake on it. I haven't got time, I'm gonna do my cake now. Are done, I need to start making the body now. I know it's coloured green because my son wanted it green because, of course, the creepers are green. But I just need to trim this off to make sure that it is the right shape. This is my beautiful cake, and I've now I've cut it into quarters, stepped it up, and cut it so it's on a slight angle so it's slightly wider at the bottom because this has then got to stand on my. Um, legs and it's going to it's really quite heavy now i've got a doweling rod i'm going to insert that through the middle just to try and keep it together right. to cover this i'm not going to try and drape it life's too short and it doesn't need to look beautiful on top because his head's going to go on so now that bit's torn away but i'm not going to worry about that because it's all good so if you do get a tear don't worry you're going to cover it all up in the mosaic tiles anyhow so it's not going to matter bit like wrapping up the parcel and again if it won't fit you can just patch it do not stress about this looking perfect because it doesn't need to that's pretty good actually almost there I've got a bit of an engineering feat that I need to do here because this is really big and to get this onto the feet it's it's really heavy so it's going to crush the feet so what I've done is taken um, a cake base like this and I've just cut it so that is going to be the same underneath and I'm going to put some kind of support. So if you've got any polystyrene or even, you know, a couple of lumps of sugar paste or something onto there or a wood block, you can cover it, you can paint it. You don't need to see it. It's going to be underneath. I'm going to use some um, polystyrene balls and just cut them down to size just so it'll support it so it's not going to, not going to squish my legs. The other thing that I'm going to do is not actually put it all together until we get to the party this afternoon. Um, so I'll take it in three bits and then stick it together just before we're about to do the candles so I don't want it falling apart or you know becoming too heavy. So I've got my polystyrene ball and I've just carved the ends off so it'll be should fit on there perfectly and to fix that into position 
I'm going to use a blob of royal icing. Pop that in there. I'll just... Yay! He's shaping up, looking like a creeper. All I've got to do now is his head. Woohoo! Um, Max and I have had a debate and we reckon that this is going to look better if it's actually square that way on. If it's double thickness, it's going to be so heavy. So we smash of the different sugar paste. This is all going to be pixelated anyway, so it doesn't really matter that it's um, marbled. Now. Clean piece of sugar paste, and this is the front. So, this is going to be his head. Before we forget, we obviously we've got to do the face. So, with the black tiles, so put those on first, and then you've got some kind of guidance. Okay, let's get this show on the road. So, got the base. Put his body on. Squidge that around. I've got an extra bit of um, sugar paste in there just to make sure it's level. Dowels in there for his head because my son wanted his head to go on a little bit skew with. Bottom of. If the mixture comes straight off the bowl, 